My name is Donna Ginther. I'm a professor of economics and the director of the Center for Science, Technology, and Economic Policy at the Institute for Policy and Social Research at the University of Kansas. I was contacted about three years ago by a company that was under contract from the National Institutes of Health to look at the effect of research project grants, namely the R01, which is an investigator-initiated research project, look at the relationship between getting that grant and a person's race and ethnicity. We put together a very powerful data set. We got data from the National Institutes of Health grants from 2000 to 2006, and then we followed the grants until 2008. And we looked at the outcome for each and every grant submitted for all PhDs in academic who applied for R01 grants, about 80,000 observations. And we followed those grants over time, and then we looked at the race and ethnicity of the applicants to see if there were any relationships between race and ethnicity and whether or not you have an R01 award. And we controlled for other things like where they worked, whether or not they had NIH grants before, whether or not they were on NIH review committees, their publications and citations. So basically everything that the review panel sees about the application without reading the application itself, and then looked at the outcome, whether or not the grants were funded, and whether these funding rates differed by race and ethnicity. And we found that blacks were about one-third less likely to receive an NIH R01 award after controlling for this whole host of observable characteristics. And we really can't explain that gap. The next steps are doing more research. Uh, first of all, we need to understand how the training process works. It could be that black applicants are not getting the same type and quality of training as others. And so taking a careful look at NIH training and mentoring, I think, is merited. Second, I think looking at the review process is also important. It could be that there are some subtle differences in how applications from blacks compared to other groups are being analyzed, and, and understanding that more fully will help. There are a couple of reasons why it's important. First of all, science is very important for the future of our economy and economic growth. And if we're not using all of our resources productively, which this study indicates may be the case, then that's a real problem that needs to be addressed. Second of all, science is a human enterprise and it needs to reflect the diversity of our society. It's clear from looking at the grant applicant pool and from looking at the funding rates that the diversity of the society is not reflected in who is doing the science.